Hi there. In the previous screencast, I uh, showed how to actually create the design for your would-be contact form. And in this particular screencast, we're going to make the uh, contact form actually work. Uh, what I'm going to describe in this, in this screencast is going to be exactly what you can read in this post. How to create an HTML PHP contact form, processing form data with PHP. And this screencast is, again, for those of you guys, like the previous ones, uh, that uh, really prefer video content, video info, video data, and video format to any textual ones. Uh, it's going to be the same content, but in video format. And again, in this screencast, I'm going to show how to actually make your contact form work. So this is how it looks now. I mean, um, in the previous screencast, I showed how to create this uh, design. And now, if you click, nothing's going to happen because this contact form is not attached, is not associated, in, in other words, with, the, with any um, PHP files. So now we're going to create uh, a PHP file and uh, associate it with the contact form. Well, actually, the contact form already sends its data to uh, the PHP file that we did not create so far. So that's exactly what we need to do now. OK, uh, let's go to... Um, to our Dreamweaver, and uh, that's the file for uh, the um, for the design. And if you go to this site, to the post that I just uh, showed you, this one, uh, you can just uh, scroll down and copy this code, beginning with the opening PHP uh, tag and ending with the closing one. So just copy it, then go to your Dreamweaver and create a file. Call it uh, send mail. Uh, send-mail.php and just uh, paste uh, the whole shebang right there, just like that. I'm just uh, pasting it and uh, I, I believe you can do the same. There is no need to uh, create everything step by step. If you have any questions regarding why and how exactly a certain line, certain line works, uh, just feel free to uh, leave your questions in the comments and I'm sure that I'll be able to answer any, uh, any of your questions regarding how this contact form work and but anyway now I'm gonna show you what exactly each line of code in this file uh, what exactly it does so the first line as you can see it just uh, yeah in this line we just create a PHP variable we call it uh, dollar sign mail underscore two and we uh, set it to this value which is the um, email address where uh, the message from the contact form will be sent to so that's the message, that's the email, the email address. Uh, and uh, in your case, you should specify your email address here. Okay. Now, next, we create a few more uh, variables. For example, dollar sign name. And it's going to take the, um, the value from the sender, uh, from the sender underscore name text field. And if we go back to our contact form design page, design uh, file, we can see that um, here is the, uh, the 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 code that creates the text field. This one. So uh, whatever the user puts in this uh, text field is gonna go to uh, this variable because um, we assign it right here. We specify that we want to take it from the uh, uh, post array, and the uh, the key is sender underscore name. The same goes for uh, these variables. We create uh, dollar sign mail underscore form uh, from, and it's going to have the value that is in the sender underscore email text field, which is right here. So this one, this one. The next value, the next variable is a. Uh, dollar sign phone and is it is gonna have the uh, the value of the uh, sender underscore phone text field which is this one okay next uh, it's the uh, dollar sign message variable and is gonna have the value from the sender underscore message uh, text field and again it's a uh, pretty much Let's scroll down. It's going to be this one. All right, so right here, whatever the user types in right here, is going to be sent to uh, to the server with this uh, in this uh, variable, which is called dollar sign message. Okay, 
On the next line, we just uh, create the variable for for the subject, so it's going to be displayed in the um, uh, subject uh, text field uh, of your email client, and it's going to just show. It's going to just say the, the name of the site, and you can just specify your site here. Then it's going to say a message from visitor, and with the help of the dollar sign name variable, uh, we're going to display the name of the visit of the visitor that he or she inputs right here in this uh, text field because uh, the name of this text field is sender name uh, okay now moving on the uh, dollar sign body underscore message variable is um, is gonna show uh, the following wording so it's gonna it's gonna say from and then with the help of the variable it's gonna show the name of the uh, of the user then we're gonna uh, create a new line with the help of, the, of this code. Next, we're gonna create. Uh, we're gonna actually add more content to the same uh, dollar sign dollar sign body underscore message variable, and we're gonna add the uh, the word email, then colon, and then with the help of this uh, variable dollar sign mail underscore from, it's gonna display the na uh, the email of the user. Then the same goes for the next line. Here we're going to add the information about the phone, the phone number that the user specified in the contact form, and the last one is the actual message that is specified in the uh, in the message text field. So it's going to just grab the info from all the text uh, the text fields that we have created right here in in our previous screencast. Now let's scroll down. It's going to also create um, headers. Uh, like uh, from then uh, the email that is specified by the user and uh, the uh, reply to value is going to be again uh, the email that the user specifies. I'm not going to dwell uh, on these um, on these items because headers are a bit uh, more sophisticated uh, and this topic requires certain um, a certain uh, knowledge and skills in PHP so I'm, I'm just going to move on. And again, if you would like more info, you can just uh, leave your questions in the commands or just Google for, for what headers do and so on. Now, the next variable, dollar sign mail underscore sent, with the help of this variable, we are actually gonna send our message to, um, to the email that we specified right in the, uh, in the very beginning, right here, to this email address. This variable has the following value. It is uh, the mail function, which has the following uh, parameters, the following values. The mail, the email address where to send the message to, uh, the subject, uh, the body message, and the header. So basically, uh, this function uses uh, the variables that was specified right here. Over here, name, mail, underscore from, and uh, message, so these ones. Okay, and uh, this chunk of code just um, uh, displays a pop-up window depending on what exactly happened. Um, again, I'm not gonna dwell too much on it because first off is JavaScript, and I'm not a not a fan, neither neither a fan nor I have uh, any you know knowledge in JavaScript. But what it does is that uh, if everything went just fine, so if dollar sign mail underscore sent equal sign equal sign true, so if the if the message was sent, uh, it's gonna display the following uh, the following uh, note. Thank you for your uh, for the message. We will contact you shortly. And if uh, the message was not sent for one reason or another, it's gonna say message not sent. Please notify the site administrator and the, uh, the email of the administrator. Sure thing, it's a fake one, so you might want to uh, specify your admin name uh, if you create this contact form for your site. And um, to show you how it works, we're gonna go to the site and open this tab. Now I'm specifying my name, Ken, my email address, and uh, Gmail the phone number, an awesome fake phone number, and the message, like, hi. Okay, now I'm clicking send, 
And now we get this message that uh, says, thank you for the message, we'll contact you shortly. And that's exactly how the contact form works. If you have any questions, feel free to, uh, again, like I said, uh, ask them in the comments, and uh, we're going to be more than happy to assist you with that. Okay, thanks for watching, and good luck. Bye-bye.